Hello butterflies, welcome to your reading summary. For this week ahead tarot reading, I really want to encourage you to take your time and also tune out as many distractions as you can this week. The energy is very difficult <laughs> to get through this week. And I don't want to kick things off like that to scare you, but I just say this is an energy that is calling for us to slow down. It's almost as if working to read through this week, there was a clear message from the guides to not rush it, to actually look at everything that is put in front of you, to really evaluate. It's coming off of the Virgo full moon energy, also this Pisces energy, and a bit of Libra energy after the full moon. So you really have to take your time in moving through situations. The cards that we have in front here, Anchor, you are firmly grounded in the new earth dimensional plane. This is a time to really anchor yourself after you've done a lot of that spring cleaning in preparation for the Virgo full moon, how are you anchoring yourself? Some of you have been spreading yourselves too thin and now is the time to ground, to really get into those ideas that you're working to alchemize here with the magician. There are many new opportunities on the horizon with the Ace of Pentacles and the star within this reading. You'll see that this weekly reading brings up a sense of hope for where you're going and how you're getting there. There's also a very large call for you to recalibrate, to bring yourself back to zero with equilibrium. Your experience is complete. Process it without judgment. Allow your mind to return to point zero, back to balance. This also could be an exit card for many of you. You have come out of situations and you have to accept that. You have come out of it. That can be discouraging but you are really being asked to visualize the future that you want. You've done the healing, you're in a sense of healing, especially with the star. And so you don't want to lose that work that you have done up until this point to get to where you are. All right, butterflies, enjoy this reading. Take your time listening to this reading. Remember to anchor yourself. And this really is a weekly reading of equilibrium and rebalance. All right, butterflies, I will see you there. Speak soon. butterflies welcome to Monique's tarot welcome welcome this is your week ahead tarot reading to get things started let's just welcome you all to the space and burn a bit of Palo Santo here welcome to those new faces and also returning faces welcome during this transformational time for those of you where this is your first time or for those returning, you can always support this channel through donations, through liking, so that those can receive this message in their time of need. You can also subscribe to this channel and you can listen to the podcast. So welcome to those of you that are listening via podcast for your week ahead and weekend readings. Okay. Butterflies, I'm also really excited to announce that I now have tarot journals. <laughs> I'm really happy about this. I'll put a link within the description 
I was really guided to create some tarot journals because there are many of us that like to track our readings, that like to track our energy. And these readings open up with mantras, your intention, they allow you to track the moon cycle, just a really simple guide that you can follow, provided as a gift for those other mystics within your community circles. And I'm hoping that this can provide a guide for how you've grown within your healing and also in honing your gifts as we grow here together. All right, butterflies. I wanted to take a second to really talk through the energy right now going into this week ahead. So some of you who have listened to the weekend reading, uh, you may have noted that there was a lot of fire. There was quite a bit of fire within the weekend reading. And for this week ahead, I'm actually sensing that there is a certain call from the guides for calm. It's almost like after the fire, you need some soothing water, you need some coolness, something to really cool off. I'm also getting the word drill, like drilling into, or even drain, draining some things. Some of you may feel drained, but I'm almost sensing like there's like a draining down into the earth, like releasing some things that were coming up over the past weekend. And so there's like a flushing out and there's a lot of energy where folks are just having trouble with words, having trouble with communication, having trouble concentrating. And I want to just really cleanse a lot of that and allowing in new fresh energy from the guides. Um, if you feel as if you are moving too fast, that is a sign that you need to slow down and also do some things to make time for you. So what can you do within this week ahead to really bring in some rejuvenating energy so that you can stay focused on those goals and also with those things that you're releasing, how can you do that wholeheartedly without regret, but really trusting yourself in this path that you are being brought into. So with that butterflies and looking at that energy, let's jump into the Starlight Oracle cards. And for those of you that are new, and even for those of you that are returning, um, the Starlight Oracles, they provide insights into who we are within this lifetime, what our intention is, what we're being guided to do, and what we're meant to give as a gift to others around us. Thank you to the guide for these messages. Insights from the Starlight Oracle cards. Okay. The first card we have here is Anchor. We have Equilibrium, Mind, Heart, and Will. Okay, those are the only cards that wanted to reveal themselves. This is actually my first time seeing Equilibrium and Mind, Heart, Will from this deck, so we'll jump into these. Reading Anchor. You are firmly grounded in the new earth dimensional plane. I just want to bring back here this garden quartz uh, because this has such an earthy energy and I definitely sense drill and also drain and I think that really is connecting to this anchor energy from this card. To be firmly grounded means that you are unshaken. It also means that you are relying on the earth to center you. This is a very earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, being able to be strong-headed, focused, very determined, understanding your material, understanding where you're going. You need to anchor. And for those of you that are still working to identify your anchors, the number here is 43 on this card, translating to seven. So sevens are all about being mysterious, analytical, things with integration, integrating new ideas. With roots, they're integrating into new grids. And for some of you being able to transport that energy, right now you need to bring it back. You need to anchor that. 
It's been maybe transporting too much. It's been moving too much. You need to anchor and allow it to transport naturally on its own. Allow those connections to come to you. The next card I have here is equilibrium. Your experience is complete. Process it without judgment. Allow your mind to return to point zero back to balance. I'll read that again. Your experience is complete. Process it without judgment. Allow your mind to return to point zero back to balance. When we think about point zero within spirituality, this is your origin. Think about the origin of your birth. Think about the origin of your identity, the origin of when you first had a series of thoughts about who you are and where you wanted to go, the origin of your dreams. With equilibrium, it's about recalibrating. And as we've shifted from this kind of Virgo full moon into this week ahead, going more into that Libra energy, there has been a shift that's naturally come with Pisces season. As, as you can see around here, there are two fishes on this card. So within Pisces season, we are moving and shifting and elevating with this kind of watery energy, bringing up a lot of emotions, and that's actually recalibrating a lot of you. Just as an example, some of you that are swimmers that like to be in water, <laughs> you may notice um, that after you're within water, or even if you take a shower for the non-swimmers, after you come out of that shower, you feel refreshed. You feel like you can start the day anew. You may have a certain temperature that you like that speaks to your body, that puts you into that place of equilibrium. And so this card is really asking you to view your path without judgment. You're at a point zero right now. You are recalibrating. You're getting back to your origin of who you actually are. And then finally here, before we get into your tarot, mind, heart, and will. Allow yourself to exist through all your dimensional layers. Think freely, deeply, and live fully. Many of you may be perceived by others as overly emotional, but that is you. And you need to maintain that. You need to continue to anchor yourself. If you feel like your emotions are out of whack right now, again, it might be a time to pause, take a step back, slow down, and really analyze how you can get back to this equilibrium. This week seems like it's gonna be a time of reflection and recalibration, not rushing through things, taking your time, moving through the process, anchoring yourself. All right, butterflies, let's get into your week ahead tarot reading. Insights from the guides for this week ahead tarot reading. Insights from the guides for this week ahead tarot reading. Insights from the guides for this week ahead tarot reading. Okay. I'm just being called to have a very steady energy within this reading. And I will be listening to that message from the guides to so just take my time here. deck has closed itself out. Okay, butterflies, what we have here within your elevation of spirit, I'm seeing that many of you are bringing in empress energy from the past. So a lot of you are doubting yourselves right now. You are feeling as if you don't completely know who you are. As you can see here, the empress has roots. There's a tree trunk that she is sitting on. She is fully anchored within the earth. And this could be why the guides are calling to you right now to really anchor. Some of you feel as if you are just shifting, but the Empress, when she is 
the most sure of herself in her full earth energy. She represents fertility. She represents life. She represents that zero point of getting back to herself, that equilibrium. She really is a true representation of earth. So some of you are working to elevate yourself back to that after losing your inner north point, your inner goal, your inner united point of understanding who you are and the beauty of who you are. I see that some of you are thinking a lot here about the past, a lot about past passions, a lot about past willpower, creativity, ideas that you had with the Nine of Wands. Remember, the Nine of Wands is almost to that Ten of Wands point. And if you've hit the Ten of Wands, then you have taken on too much. So some of you are on this tipping point of taking on too much. And I'm guessing that you've been taking on too much responsibility from past woes and past things that maybe happened within relationships or happened within projects that didn't go correctly. You're on the verge. So how can we turn that around? We're going to get some insights into that. Within your work life, I'm seeing that there are some temptations on the horizon. This is a note to mind the deals that are on the table, read the fine print, think about what people are saying, don't just take it for face value, really dig into what they are giving to you, don't just take what's handed, do your own research. With your personal life, we have the Seven of Cups. So I'm guessing for some of you, you may have a lot of options right now. That could be a good thing. We'll get into that to see, you know, why you have so many options on the table. <laughs> and then for surprises, a lot of you are alchemizing the future that you want here with the magician, but we'll get some clarification on exactly what that is. I see that some of you have walked away either from a controlling situation or you've needed to take the reins within your past so that you can have a guiding point for your life and where you want to go in this moment. Okay, let's get some clarifying tarot cards for your head butterflies. I hope that as you're listening to this reading, you feel grounded, you feel rooted, that you're starting to really anchor yourself. Water, speaking of water, with just this kind of Pisces energy and also coming off this Virgo full moon, uh, being able to equalize yourself, really center in your system. It's really good to do right now. Okay, insight from the guides into the Empress. Clarification into the Empress. Clarification into the Empress. Okay, for this week ahead and how to elevate your spirit, what I'm seeing here is the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands. So for some of you, you may feel, and maybe in a time where this just isn't the time for what you're thinking through, whatever has you kind of upended here that has unrooted you, I'm guessing because of this conflict with the Five of Wands and this Knight of Wands here, there's someone who's kind of like a, a fleeting energy. They're coming toward you with this Knight of Wands energy, but the Wheel of Fortune is showing something's off. Like it's not quite the time for this to happen. And I can see that this has hurt you very deeply and you're working to elevate your spirit out of that. But this Five of Wands is also showing that there is some conflict around this particular situation. And I'm guessing it has to deal with this Knight of Wands and how they've been going about things. I'm getting a very shifty energy with the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost saying like there was an end to a cycle here as well. Like it's not the right time, it's an end to a cycle, but there's like an energy here of someone that is continuing to try despite uprooting you. It's almost like, what is your worth, butterflies? Is it worth it for you? And with so much energy just shifting and kind of moving about, it's easy to want something that sounds good and looks good and felt good at that time. But if it really uprooted you and you find yourself where you're needing to re-anchor, 
and you're needing to find your equilibrium. And I know for many of you from our readings here together have been finding your equilibrium. You've been getting back to yourself. You're working on getting your mind, heart, and will back together. Do you want to disrupt that? Do you want to disrupt that? It is a process. You're healing right now. So speaking of healing, let's get into your healing. What's coming up is the Three of Pentacles inverted, the Lovers inverted. And we also have the Three of Cups. Yeah, it feels like there were some plans that you were trying to make in the past and you've been thinking about it. You are almost at the point where you're tipping over. You're too much in your head with this Knight of Wands being inverted. The Nine of Wands inverted is, you know, that's just another form of anxiety. It's another anxiety card. It's got you up late. You're thinking about it. You're trying to think about plans. You're trying to find answers about this lovers with the lovers card here. And with this three of cups, it's not a time of celebration. The three of cups inverted is more like gossip. The three of cups inverted is like too much overindulgence. There's an energy here with the five of wands here where there was a conflict within passion. There was a conflict within passion, a conflict with someone from the past. Something is not right with that. And it's also paired here with this devil energy. Let's look into your work life. It looks like the moon is coming up. There's a few illusions. I'm also seeing here that there's the Ten of Swords inverted and also the Nine of Swords inverted. This is this is this is tough butterflies. I can't say it any other way. This is very tough within your work life. It's the week where you have to really comb through everything. Don't take anything for face value. The moon is showing that there's some illusions. There's something from your past. For some of you, it may be a coworker that, you know, backstabbed you or someone that didn't give you your credit. And the nine of swords is showing that the nine of swords is definitely showing that you've been in your head. Maybe some of you have been up late looking at some emails, looking at some communications. There's some things that were definitely said that were hurtful and harmful. I think I might actually have to come back with some tarot cards for another layer on these because there's just a lot of tense energy here. And I just want to burn a bit of Palo Santo just to clear things out. Now, one thing I will say, Butterflies, is when we know there is a tough week ahead, it doesn't mean we succumb to that tough week. It means that we work to anchor ourselves, as the guides are saying here. We work to ground ourselves. We start to shift our body. We start to move. We start to really shift the energy. You do have this alchemizing energy within your surprise position, and it's showing that you're looking at some options. So there's some solutions in this week, as much as there are some things to kind of navigate and move around. For the Seven of Cups, I'm seeing the Nine of Cups inverted. Okay, we've got some King of Pentacles energy <laughs> coming through to kind of help us out here. And we have the Ace of Swords. So within your personal life, you were very comfortable here with the Nine of Cups, with something from the past. There's something that has made you very happy, almost to that Ten of Cups, almost to that fulfillment. There's something from the past that has come up. There is an energy of King of Pentacles. Could be someone that is, you know, doing very well. Maybe someone out within your professional life that does well or someone you know within community that does well. And it looks like there's going to be a message or an invitation here um, with the Ace of Swords. There's a new beginning, a new opportunity for communication. So I'm sensing for some of you, there may be a potential start of some communications and it's referencing an energy from the past. So it's like, it's someone that you already know or um, may have not considered that has been around, but just was like emotionally fulfilling. And this person has a King of Pentacles and they're doing very well. And um, 
there's like an opportunity here for communication. So I sense this is like the beginning of things. It might be like the meeting uh, that you have this week, but there's also options on the table <laughs> within your personal life. So there are options here. Okay, let's get into the magician. Okay, so what's coming up for the magician is the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands reversed. And I see here the King of Cups. And let's have clarification into the Chariot while we're here. Okay, insights. Okay, right away at the top of the deck with the chariot from the past. There's controlling energy, knight of cups. We have the tower reversed, and then also the seven of pentacles. All right, butterflies. So going back to the magician here, I'm seeing with the hierophant that you are alchemizing the future you want. You are on the right path. It's almost like anything you want to create can happen during this time. I'm seeing that there was something that you wanted to begin in the past, whether it was a creative idea. It's almost like this is saying there was something that you started in the past. I'm almost getting like a creative project energy, or it could be like a new relationship, the Ace of Wands. Something was started in the past. And there's a destined energy to this, where this is the path that you are meant to be on. And I'm also seeing the King of Cups here. So there could be a few things here. It could be what you're working on as far as like a creative project or passion. Um, the idea that you sparked that fulfilled you emotionally, that really brought some solid grounding with your emotion around it. That project is moving forward. You are alchemizing it into the future. And then also it could be there was a new love, someone that sparked your interest, and they have been kind of sitting around thinking about you in some ways, and that is starting to alchemize into the future. So either way, that's a really good thing. I'm also sensing family members. For those who also have kids, I'm getting a message from the guides that there could be something that you've been waiting for. Um, perhaps like a child who has been working to identify or find that creativity or a child that has been like that. You have this uh, cat here that's kind of like scratching around on the water and um, there's like a playfulness to this cat kind of like picking up a fish, like finding something. and. and getting just like a childlike energy here where there's a child that's finding their way um, and finding their their joy and you've been wait, wanting this for a while and you're on the right path. It's almost like a parenting message, like you're on the right path. That's very specific for parents, um, but that did also come through. Okay, here with the chariot, you're, you've been taking the reins from something in the past. There is a Knight of Cups energy. I'm guessing for some of you, um, you needed to take the reins unexpectedly. Uh, the Knight of Cups is showing there is going to be some type of love offering coming here soon. There was definitely a tower moment where something ended and this seems to be financially related. You've been looking around at what you've been doing. I'm guessing that this Knight of Cups actually sees some opportunity there but the seven of pentacles is showing that there's too much time in the garden so it's almost like there's too much time that's been spent in the garden looking around at what was you need to get to what is you need to get to the energy of where you're going and not just sit back on what was comfortable in the past because this knight of cups coming in it just seems like you're in a time of really rooting, anchoring, and stabilizing yourself. And so you have this kind of Knight of Cups energy coming in when there was just a tower for you in the past. It could be related to this person, or this could be somebody new, but it just feels premature because 
you're rebuilding it. And for those of you that are coupled, it's not premature if you're coupled because this could be you had a tower moment within your past and you all have been trying to rebuild. Maybe you had some financial woes as a family and you've been working to get out of that. And so there's a love offering coming your way um, where, hey, let's, let's rejuvenate things. Let's make things better. Um, so this could be like a rekindling, which is great. And especially after all that fire after the weekend reading, and I'll make sure to tag that weekend reading so you all can reference that. Okay, let's get some clarifiers here with additional tarot. Insight into the Empress. Clarification into the Empress. Okay, so we have the star that's coming up. We have the star that is coming up for the Empress. This is a beam of hope. <laughs> and I think we definitely need that um, after this reading where you are in a time where there could be some things coming your way and offer with this Knight of Wands, someone that's passionate, but they're, it looks like they're just like escaping some conflict that happened. And it's showing it's not the time. Like I said in the beginning, there's an energy about taking your time right now, taking your time and also tuning out distractions. Those are very clear messages that I have received today and preparing for this reading. Take your time, tune out distractions. You are rejuvenating yourself right now. Everything you hope for, um, it can happen here with the star card, but there is a responsibility to that because the Empress she is very intuitive. She, What she wants when she is in her best self is to be anchored. She is the birthing of life. She is fruitful. She literally has fruit on her dress. She is the fruit of the earth. And it's almost like you are not getting the respect you need. You are not being respected as the beauty, as the handsome, as the incredible, brilliant person that you are. So now the guides are giving you some hope with what they're placing in front of you as options and also how you can alchemize. You have to think if all this is worth it or if you can continue to move forward. Let's keep going here with insight into the Nine of Wands. Insight into the Nine of Wands. Okay, the cards that came out here were the Two of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, with the Two of Wands, man, the message is really loud from the guides to take my time. I will take my time. The Two of Wands here. Many of you have been up late on your mind, thinking about things from the past. You've been working to get past some of these energies here things that are happening outside of you for many of you with this three of cups energy people around kind of gossiping outside factors that are affecting the lover's card here they've taken plans you're making new plans now you're moving from that three of pentacles past energy and now you have an opportunity to kind of see the world the world is literally opening up for you within this two of wands it's not easy because there's something here from the past that is potentially asking you to consider it for some work that is a tough choice that is a tough choice especially when you have this devil energy around you it is not easy let's clarify this devil energy Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, the guides are speaking they are speaking butterflies my goodness all right so they've completely taken over that chariot i'm gonna go with that so what we have for the devil within your work life two of cups so like i said you need to really concentrate work wise fine-tuning everything, combing through everything. There's, there was moon energy. There was also ten of uh, swords energy here. And we also had the nine of swords. There are some things that have been keeping you up. 
But as much as that is happening, once you get through that, you're going to find a partnership, an opportunity, a connection within community for many of you that are doing things at scale within your business or things at a national level or things within your work, being able to come up in leadership, you are finding those partnerships and it is connecting you to your higher purpose of who you are with the Six of Cups energy. You're going back into past memories. You're thinking about what worked. And this King of Wands here is showing that for some of you, you're feeling a little bit burnt out. But this Two of Cups is very loud, very loud. It's a good time to observe. Don't move too fast. Tune out outside distractions. I know I keep repeating that, but it is so loud within this message. Okay, with your personal life, there's an opportunity here that was on the table, but what's coming up is 10 of swords energy. There's some heartbreak here. There's some heartbreak here. What we had here was the Nine of Cups. There was something that fulfilled you all from the past. And you had the King of Pentacles energy that's here. There's a message that's coming your way with the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Swords feels like it's from the past because of the Page of Pentacles. Someone sees an opportunity with you from your past, but there could potentially be some heartbreak. But there's choices here. I don't want to I don't want to miss that. There are choices. It's like some of you will have multiple choices this week. There's going to be someone that had some heartbreak and there's also going to be someone that is offering you what you need, what you want, someone that's been fulfilling you that you haven't even noticed is what I'm gathering. There's someone here that you haven't even noticed that is going to say, hey, like, can we talk? Can we have a conversation? They've got their eyes on you, but you have to be open to it. And um, there's a choice that you'll need to make. But with this Hierophant here, and two choices, it's like a divine moment. This person that's new and this person from the past. Anchor here, recalibrate, think about your mind, heart, and will. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You've been healing. Do you want to retract on your healing? And just looking over here at the cards on the side, what's showing up here without me even realizing was the Five of Pentacles. I think it's speaking to the situation where your needs were not getting met. And many of you have been hermiting because of this. There's a strange mix here of cards. There's the Ten of Cups here and also the Ace of Pentacles. It definitely feels like a dual situation. Like there's something where your needs were not getting met. You've been hermiting and taking your time. You've been seeing new opportunities and then a Ten of Cups is coming up. But these feel like the new energy. This feels like the old energy. The new energy is offering you that fulfillment. The new potential, the new opportunity. It's like a, a call to walk away. Okay, what jumped out? Then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. There's an offer. It's like the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. There's an opportunity for financial stability. There's going to be some financial offers coming your way. And also because this was coming out toward this magician, I'm telling you, some of you that have had ideas that you've been working on, they are, they are coming to light. The deck is actually closing itself out, so I'm going to listen to that. But there are things that are coming to fruition that you've been working on, that you've been alchemizing. There's a lot of past energies. I mean, no transition is easy. That's the message that I'm really getting here. No transition is easy. It takes time. It takes effort to really move into new energy. So you will have some, some things and this is the spring. So 
you know, when the snow melts and you kind of have that sludge under the snow where you have the grass and the mud and all this and that and you kind of have to let it just kind of do its thing and start to, you know, melt away. But then after you get past that melted snow and that dirt and you see all the the cups and things that were underneath and you pick those up and clean them up and move them out of the way, then it actually allows space for the grass to bud, for the flowers to come up, for the greenery to, to show itself. So don't be afraid of some of these remnants of things that were just under the season as things turn over, you know? Let's just close things out here with some clarifying oracle cards. Like I said, butterflies, this week ahead, take your time, take your time, and tune out distractions. Okay, right away here, we have transformation at the top of the deck. The bottom of the deck we have visualize. We also have visualize here and knowledge and embrace. Those are the cards that wanted to reveal themselves from that shuffle. You are at a very transformative time. We have definitely talked through that within this reading. You've moved through a transformative time. Many of you are working to visualize the future that you want for your life. There is knowledge that you have that has come in. You are recalibrating, you are rooting, and when that happens, you cannot help but to be in full alignment with your mind, heart, and will. So that knowledge that you have, those intuitive thoughts that you have, don't push them away. Completely embrace them because you are alchemizing a future for yourself that is unexpected I'm assuming for many of you, but is truly on the path that you need to go into. Okay, butterflies, with that, that is all I'm being led to read today. I'm sending you off with good dreams, good energy into this week ahead. As always, you can donate to this channel within the link below. You can support via liking, listening to the podcast, and for those of you that would like to dive deeper into our journeys together, please connect with the link below and you can pick up one of Monique's Tarot's journals. I'm really excited to offer that out to you all and to the community just so that we can continue on this transformational journey together. As always, butterflies, I love you so much. Have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you soon. Goodbye.